Hey everyone, Cameron Tate here for Wild Cuisine and Outdoor Canada Magazine. So welcome to my outdoor kitchen here. So what we're going to be doing today in this video is something that I absolutely love. It is uh, an elk dish, uh, elk ribs or elk short ribs. Um, I have this fantastic recipe that I've always used for uh, a barbecue pork or a, a Cantonese char siu pork, but we're going to be using elk today. Um, simple ingredients. Uh, we're gonna. Sh I'm going to show you how to take off the the silver skin off of the ribs here. I'm going to show you how to make this um, this marinade in the blender. And it is such a simple dish. You're going to absolutely love it. So the one thing that I love about uh, any kind of short rib, it's fat, it's myoglobin, and it's flavor. So myoglobin is that sort of intramuscular fat that makes this dish uh, just absolutely melt in your mouth when you cook it. So I'm going to show you how um, you take off this, 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 um, this membrane on the inside of the ribs. You can use a, a fork. What you do is you just take your fork like this and you can put it right inside uh, the membrane there and what you can do is just sort of roll it and tear it you know, as you go and you're going to pull off all of this membrane and get this going and really what this is is this is a really kind of a unpleasant kind of a tissue that you don't want to have so we're just going to go like that so if we have all of this cleaned here and what we're going to do is put the marinade on there and um, and then we're going to be ready for our next step. Okay, so I'm going to show you now how to make the, the Cantonese uh, rubber we're going to be doing on this rib. So typical flavors of Cantonese. So we've got some um, Shaoxing uh, Chinese cooking wine and we've got an onion. The one thing about this one here is you don't even have to chop it that fine because we're going to blend it all together. And we've got hoisin sauce and some soy sauce and some ginger and garlic and some five spice, Chinese five spice. We're going to put that in there like that. Uh, oh, and we also, we also have our grenadine syrup. Uh, they used to use a red dye, but the, the grenadine is much healthier for you. So we're going to take this, and this is like a handy little uh, mini uh, blender here, a little bullet. Okay, that's all you really need to do. And uh, we've also got honey and orange juice uh, here. So let's take a look at what we're going to do. We're going to marinate this one here for a full 24 hours. So now everything's all sort of blended, nice and small. Like I said, really nice and simple recipe. And our honey and our orange juice here. So now what we're going to do, let's get it going on both sides, marinate it here. And what we're going to do is, I'm going to marinate this for about 12 hours and then I'm going to flip it over in the fridge and marinate it for another 12 hours. And that's all you really need to do for this step here. And in the next video, we're going to show you exactly how we're going to cook it. Okay, so here we are. We're at the barbecue. So what I've done is uh, we've marinated the ribs for 24 hours, flipped them halfway in between. And in this pan, I poured all the marinade and I've tin foiled it and I've cooked it in the oven for three hours at 350 degrees. What you want is for those ribs to really be nice and tender and but not falling off the bone because we want our meat still intact. Um, once you take it out you're gonna cut the ribs and I've got all this really fantastic uh, marinade here and what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna be cooking the, the ribs just to caramelize it. Uh, let's take a look. So here we are. We don't want to overcook it at this point here. So that's all you need to do with this recipe. So just to recap, this is a, a Cantonese char siu um, elk short ribs that I'm sure that you'll love. Cheers.